Hello and welcome to the 40th edition of my video log here on YouTube. It has been a while since uh, we've sat down and talked and uh, a couple of things that I needed to discuss. Um, also, there was no travel this week, so I can't bore you with yet another travel montage. Um, so where am I? Um, as you can see uh, from the title of the video, I'm halfway on my way um, to university. However, means that I left my regular work at uh, May 1st and uh, the uh, winter term will start in September, October. So I'm, yeah, I'm actually halfway, halfway through and uh, I just wanted to uh, give a brief update. Halfway through, um, on my way to university, also means halfway through to, or towards the next uh, milestone in my life. And the next big milestone is actually the, the beginning of the uh, fall uh, term that I need to start and sit down and learn again. Um, I don't like it, and uh, not that I don't believe that I've been continuing to learn ever since I left school more than 30 years ago. But still, there is something different if you have to sit down in a formal setting and have to learn and then take the learn the learnings and, and pass an exam. So that is uh, the next big hurdle that I need to, to pass and uh, wish me luck. Uh, on the work side, I'm actually very happy. I found a, a small startup. I can do a little bit of freelance work uh, and the startup is exactly uh, in the area where I want to continue to be in the area of uh, of container of uh, cloud native and uh, all the orchestration around uh, we have plans to uh, start with looking into serverless uh, in the next uh, couple of months so I'm, I'm very excited and glad I found them and uh, I hope I can do a bit more freelance work for them during uh, during term and uh, the next couple of years also I'm quite happy that they're aiming to my uh, social media initiatives so I can uh, record vid uh, videos uh, um, during when we do meetups I can record videos when we do uh, training and uh, can take the camera with me on business trips so that's a change for me at least to, to the previous setup and um, yeah that helps a lot uh, last month was basically the first four months where I did some freelance work I uh, made some freelance money and uh, the first thing I did was uh, to upgrade uh, the kit um, and I got a new system from, from uh, Yul Fakhard um, based around uh, the Z display um, that you see. So I hope that will get me through the next couple of years uh, doing both the programming and also going to video editing. I guess the, um, the video I'm currently doing is probably the last one that I will be doing with the online video editor, um, but I still haven't decided on which which video editor I will go for. Um, I'm a open source fanboy, so I really would like to go use a tool like Shortcut or um, OpenShort or KDN Live. Um, but whatever review you look at in in the web, and they all go and say it's like don't don't bother use a free version of the commercial tools which i think well maybe and i and it comes to struggling it's like there's there's the the open source uh, heart in me and tells me no no use open source software and then the uh, the videograph firm tells me use the best tool that you can so uh, i haven't decided i'll let you know how i'm going to decide what i'm going to use uh going forward so how does it with YouTube anyway? Um, I still love uh, doing YouTube videos. Um, I've uh, actually begun uh, putting YouTube on, on my web pages now. Um, I still can't get around to do uh, like daily vlogs, uh, at least not for a couple couple of months until I'm just successfully done, dealt with all the changes in my life um, that, that came about. So, but yeah, YouTube is, there's a lot of fun. Um, and uh, actually, just before I sat down to to take this video, I finished doing the uh, the Ember challenge, um, which is uh, also leads me to the the, the roundup of of my personal influences 
uh, over the next couple of, of the last couple of months. Um, first one is uh, Audrey Ember. Um, I've mentioned her before. I will put on the link below. As uh, a young uh, student uh, from UC Davis, a former student from UC Davis, who's now in, in Shanghai, a young videographer and filmmaker, and I've learned a lot. Um, and she has created a great community uh, on uh, her Discord server. Again, I put on the links down below. Um, has inspired me much, and uh, one of the great things she does is she brings out uh, ever so often a challenge, uh, and. Um, this, this challenge, uh, the current finishing challenge was to create some B-roll uh, with to a certain set of music that was given and include an apple was also given. So I think, um, yeah, I had fun. It took me a while to get an idea uh, and it was uh, rather... Uh... Um, the second person, obviously he's in, in everybody's, on everybody's radio is Cody Warner. Um, he is, uh, I mean, man, this guy has more energy in 15 seconds than I have uh, for, for all day. I mean, it's just uh, wonderful. Um, I love watching his videos. They're hugely inspiring. Although, I personally know it's like I, my, my forty is to bring structure and order into chaos. Uh, my forty is not to create chaos. Um, so we're probably on the very different ends of the spectrum, but it's very, very inspiring. And he has created a community, the No Small Creator community, uh, again, on Facebook and also on Discord. And again, if, uh, if you are a uh, small creator, uh, these are enormously helpful resources. Speaking about resources, uh, one of a key resource uh, for creators in addition to uh, advertising income is Patreon. And I've uh, supported a, a couple of people over the last years. Uh, I've uh, added two more people um, this this month to to my list of supported uh, people. One is uh, the uh, open source journalist, uh, Swapne Vatia, um, whom I actually didn't know had a, that he had a Patreon. Um, it was just uh, by chance that I went up to a recent video because I was like, oh, he, he does have a Patreon and I can support him. Um, this one now is, uh, as a firm in open source and free in open source, um, as I am, he does a lot of very good interviews, um, traveling from conference to conference and, and being right up to the point with his journalism. So I'm very glad to, uh, that he's there and I'm very glad that I can support him. Um, and last but not least, uh, through a number of references, I, I found a young filmmaker by the name of Orion Eschel, um, who did an absolutely stunning series on a trip he did um, in the US, um, which uh, pointed me to, to look through all of the other clips on his channels and uh, they're just, in um, the yeah, I don't know what to say. It's like absolutely worth uh, watching, and again, I'm absolutely glad that I am uh, able to support him. That's all for today. Uh, if you did like uh, the short video and the short update, please do leave a like, uh, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't, uh, meh, maybe do leave a like and subscribe. Uh, anything in the comments, I will reply. Uh, in an instant and uh, I hope to see you in the next one.